Former President Donald Trump has allegedly spent years bragging to his closest associates that he has some salacious dirt on Emmanuel Macron. Now we're learning about the boxes of classified documents that the FBI had taken from Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence during that raid earlier this year. Now on the FBI's list of documents seized from Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate, item 1A is listed solely as info regarding President of France. For Trump, that has been a subject of intense and tawdry interest for years. So specifically two people with knowledge of the matter told Rolling Stone that Trump had been bragging to his closest friends and associates, both during and after his presidency, that he knew the illicit details of Macron's intimate life, okay, his sex life. And apparently Trump even claimed that he learned about some of the dirt through intelligence that he had either seen or been briefed on. So let's pause for one second before I continue to give you more details on this. I think we all knew whether it was consciously or unconsciously that, or subconsciously I should say, that the intelligence agencies in this country do oppo research. They dig up dirt on world leaders probably to use against them in the future. But it's really creepy, man. Like I have no doubt that they have illicit details about Macron's sex life, but understand why they do. It's because they'll they'll use it against him if it's ever useful for the US's purposes, right? Now, in his musings on Macron's alleged indiscretions, Trump has light on de- Trump was light on details and specifics according to the sources. And as a notorious gossip peddler for decades, it's difficult to know if any of what he says is grounded in reality. It is often, one of the sources said, Hard to tell if he's BS or not, Jenk. Yeah, so there is actually an important part of the story. But first, let's have fun. So as soon as I saw the classified documents, the list that Trump had taken to Mar-a-Lago, you guys might remember I did a tiny prediction on the show saying, "Oh, well, we must have dirt on Emmanuel Macron because he took a file on the French leader. There's no reason to take a file on the French leader unless we got dirt on him. And so that was in a sense the easiest prediction in the world, right? And so it turns out, of course, Trump does have dirt on him. And like an idiot, as usual, he's going around bragging about it. Cuz yeah, that's what you wanna do. Take classified information and tell your buddies at Mar-a-Lago, okay? Um, and secondly, now we did get caught collecting uh, damaging information on Angela Merkel, the leader of Germany, while Obama was president. And that apparently was a little bit embarrassing. So Obama did a directive saying, do not collect information on the leaders of allied countries going forward. Apparently that didn't stick (laughs) because here we are with Macron's information. So let's just keep it real on that. Now the important part, look guys. No, hold on, I I got a comment on the last thing you said. It's not really about the last thing you said, it's more about, I mean, the dude's French. Like, I don't think you need to do the oppo research to know that he engages in indiscretions. You know what I'm saying? Isn't yeah. it part of French culture? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Am I being offensive? No, but seriously, no. I'm serious. No, no look, the, the French culture is a interesting I one. I mean, because, it sounds fun. Yeah, it sounds fun until you actually do it. Totally. Uh, because I wouldn't want to be part of it, but it sounds yeah. fun to read about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody's always like, oh, the French are so cool. They're always having affairs until. Somebody has an affair on you, and then all of a sudden it's not so cool. I don't uh, like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, but in terms of politics and and the and the real world, who cares? Um, totally. Uh, but unfortunately, the reality is a lot of people care, uh, and that is why ninety percent of the dirt you'll ever see on a politician is about sex. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to tell you something that maybe is controversial, but uh, unless it's non-consensual or involves kids, ignore it. I don't care totally. about the sex scandals. 100%, 100%. The only time it matters is if the individual engaged in the salacious scandal is going around moralizing, going around trying to dictate the personal lives of others, going around trying to ban same sex marriage, ban transgender people from getting the gender affirming care they need. 
If they're not massive hypocrites who go around moralizing, I don't care about their indiscretions. It's their business, not mine. Yeah, and guys, but I'll go a little bit further than that. If they have released a sex scandal on someone, it might be because the elite thought they were causing trouble. And so that is like their go to move. And look at it, our government has files on Macron in case we need it. And what are the files on? Sex, it's always about sex. Okay, so don't get distracted by that stuff. Okay, now the important part. Look, this is why you don't take classified documents home. I mean, look, he's using him for his own personal titillation, to brag to the, his bros on the golf course. And then God else, God knows what else he's using it for, for personal gain. That is why we don't allow presidents to take home top secret information to their house and put it in a linen closet. Okay, and he did that because he just wanted to take advantage of all the different documents. This is the least consequential one. The nuclear secrets, of course, are the most consequential. So, but you're never going to get through the Republicans. They're going to say, "Oh, our dictator should be allowed to break any law he likes," and I love that he broke this law and that law. Okay, it is what it is. Now, while we both agree that whatever indiscretions might be detailed in classified documents pertaining to Emmanuel Macron, we don't care. But you know who does care? Emmanuel Macron. Apparently there was a bit of a panic over in France, so I wanna talk a little bit about that. So behind the scenes, both French and US officials worked to figure out exactly what Trump had on Macron. And France's government um, is uh, particularly worried. So officials in both countries wanted to know if this discovery at Mar-a-Lago was some kind of national security breach, or if it was just a stolen keepsake that Trump wanted uh, in regard to Macron's sex life, which is super creepy. And in 2017, Macron and Trump, by the way, uh, did a joint press conference where they shared a super awkward, lengthy handshake. Uh, they're not friends, okay? I think Macron tried to keep things friendly, didn't stay friendly. Nonetheless, here's the Anna, fun handshake. Yeah. Hold on, ahead. before we go to the handshake, I wanna explain to people that the reason Macron did this is because Trump likes to bully other leaders by having a longer handshake than them. He wants them to stop the handshake before he does. So yeah. Macron knew this and was like, nope, I'm not gonna let go until you let go. And this is part of the reason why Trump hates him to this day, watch. Yeah, so here's the penis measuring contest <laughs> right in front of you. Thank you very much, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Merci à vous. I will wait for the end of this press conference to have the press conference of a presidency. I will leave it to the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. That was fine. It was no, actually not as no, bad as I remember it. No, no, there's three different videos. In one video, Macron holds a handshake for 29 brutal seconds. Okay, and in that video, you saw Trump trying to let go. He literally like went like this. You could rewatch the video, and Macron won't let it go. Watch, watch, watch. He's about to do it. Trump's like, yeah, okay, yeah. enough. Awkward. Watch him let it go. Watch him let go. It's about to happen. There it is. But Macron won't let it go. Trump's <laughs> got to go back in. Yeah, that's Trump's like. Done. Trump's like, God, I wish Melania would do this. Oh, totally. <laughs> I mean, Macron. Uh, I'm not even joking. I think Macron held Trump's hand longer during his four year term than Melania did. 100%. Okay? So that's why he, he can't stand Macron. And he's like, oh, yeah, I have a secret file on him. Who wants to see it, guys? Who wants to see the top secret document of the French leader? And this is who Republicans look up to. <laughs>